guys. Here we go. Ten rounds to start our night of top ranked boxing on ESPN. It caused the Salcedo camp a great deal of consternation. They were upset. They wanted a new ring. They said, bring in a, you know, bring in a ring from Dallas. Again, when is he five foot seven? Salcedo five foot ten. Had to drive home that right hand once he got to the inside there. And when we spoke, and I have to say that as a fan, I love the fight. If, I, if I'm a trainer, a fighter to be defensively sound and technical, especially if you have the size like he has. The short right hand that went in at the end of that exchange for out. Hey, Salcedo likes to stay in the mid distance range. He sometimes he lets his combinations go, then he comes right back to the middle and he stays there. But we turn, we turn fire. Good exchange, active first round for both men. See both guys not really using the ring at all. They're standing right in front of each other, exchanging punches, looking for counter punches. Opportunity. <laughs> They're barely leaving the logo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming to the end of round number one of what should be a great night of top ranked boxing on ESPN, capped by the world title fight with Zerto Ramirez. Typically start bleeding. Right. <laughs> yeah. In camp about three weeks ago. But hopefully that will not be the case for Lenizzi. Who has Making adjustments going down to the body and the head of Salcedo. Good shot that backs up Lenizzi. Say power both hands. That right hand clipped Lenizzi as he stood back. Looked at and admired his work. Got clipped with the right hand. Come forward right hand to the mid body. You better control a little bit more. Doubled up the left hand with an uppercut in the mix. Something that, Tim, that we saw last time, Salcedo for a very pleasing fight. No. We see, I mean, oh, nice uppercut in the middle there. Right hand by Salcedo. I noticed he saw that when they squared up, when they, when they, when they watch a film on him. He did at times. But now I don't, I don't really see too many body shots yet. There's a right hand from Lenny Z as Sacito tried to roll with it. Both men have landed significant punches here in this second round. Double up the jab, just missed with the right hand. Nice work with the left hand. Look at this. Look at that. Doubling up, tripling up with the same hand. Including an uppercut. But you see how he stands there for return fire. He does get hit. He's available for shots. Letting him work and getting off his, his punches as well. I think fans are having a good time watching these first two rounds. This is a very good pace that is being set between these two. Body shot with the right hand from Lenny Z. There is the blood. The there it is. is right eye. The right eye has opened up on Lenny Z. Always a concern with him. You see Lenny Z already affected by that right eye. We're going to take a short break and come right back to OKC. He found home for that uppercut. And it was a little later in that second round that a combination did open up a cut on the right eye of Lenny Z. And we have confirmation from the commission here ringside that that was caused by a punch. CompuBox numbers in the last round, 44% landed by Saucedo, 36 of 82. Good pace by both, 163 combined punches thrown in that second round. I, I, I see Saucedo with a decided advantage, and I also think that cuts bothering Lenny. You can see the way he's blinking. He's been in this game for 12 years. He's 30 years old. Oh, no good reason. exchange, and Lenny Z goes down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Walk to me. Walk Let's see here. if Alex Saucedo can close the show in round three. They are on their feet here at the Thunderdome. Here he comes, charging in a right, a left, looking for the headshot. Probing with the jab. Now he goes to the body with a left hand. Over the top with a right. And here comes Lenny C. Valiantly fighting back. Left hook of his own. Trying to stand right in the pocket. He dropped those hands of Lenny Z. Look at Lenny Z. Stand right in there. Cut eye. Knocked down and fighting back. Sharp right hand. Right behind the jab from Saucedo. Lenny, D, Lenny Z showing his heart now. Right hand to the body was partially hit by the elbow. No, he's not rushing. 
And he's per throwing perfectly timed uppercuts with the left and right hand. Look at that shot. He just got hit by a right hand, but he comes back with a right hand of his own and splits the guard. I'm telling you, this young man has Eric Morales written all over him, in my opinion. I have no problem with that. <laughs> For years to come, I have no problem with Look that. At this. Short right hand from Lenny C. Comes right back to close out a round in which he was knocked down. Oh, that's good stuff. Mark it down, round number three here at OKC. <laughs> so, still trying to win. Remember, so much is on the line here at 140 pounds. Saucedo has been destined for greatness for so long. The hype has been building. Both of these guys made their reputations within the boxing business at the wild card. Years ago, Lady Z came from Australia. Freddie Roach put him in with Miguel Cotto. And he impressed. Oh, savage shot. Saucedo attacking that head left and right as Lenny Z comes back. Look at the experience now coming in. You want to talk about experience and guts from hurt and battered to now a left hook that has the undefeated hometown kid hurting badly. He better hold up. He better hold. Lenny Z going Look at for this it. action from Lenny Z. Going for broke here in round number four. A big right hand. Alex Saucedo stood up to it somehow. Can you believe this fight? And a cut on Saucedo's right eye as he takes and takes and tries to get more. He Here's knows this is his last shot. This is basically the Maurice Hooker's title. This is his last shot to get there, to get that title. Squared up, throwing punch after punch after punch. He's going for it. Blood streaming down the face of Saucedo as well as he lands an uppercut. We Salcedo is cut in his last two fights, and this is a gruesome one above his right eye. There you go. Salcedo loves to fight that mid-distance range. You don't like to use his height. Guess what? Lenny Z knows that, and he stays there after every combination, doesn't move his head, and Lenny Z, an aggressive counterpuncher. Salcedo landed a right hand that opened up the cut even worse on Lenny Z, and Lenny Z stands up and just fires back. This is outrageous. Let's see how they finish it up. Let them take it home, boys. Stood up to everything Lenny Zapavina had in that last round. In Lenny Z's corner right now, I'm telling him to attack this young man, bag him up, throw your combinations, block, and come right back, because he's there to be hit. The first thing that Alex has to do is establish the jab. He can't just wait for him to throw. He can't be perfect with his punches. He's got to go and be first. And that's what he's trying to do here in round five. And he's looking to set him up. You see that jab to the belly? He's looking to set him up for that big overhand right that he landed a round ago. But right now, Salcedo's controlling the distance with that jab. That jab is working wonders for him right now. But he cannot make a mistake from jabbing too close. Keep it outside. Salcedo is learning something about himself. And very few people ever learn. You see Salcedo changing the speed up on his punches, taking a little bit of leather off of him, throwing combinations to keep Lenny Z at bay. And he's throwing and trying to throw at full extension with his punches now. You see the effect that's happening right now. Huh? There's a right hand behind the jab as Lenny Z tries to fight off the ropes for a moment. Oh, big right hand comes in, splitting the guard and getting the attention of everybody here at the Ooh. Thunderdome. He needs to watch the counter punches from Lenny Z. Here he comes. That's that overhand right. Swinging for the fences again is Zapavina. And he comes back with a big right hand. It just won't stop here. Don't go anywhere. Lenny Z said he wanted to take Salcedo into the later rounds and it's an incredible, incredible fight. And the guts of the two guys, amazing. Well, there was a good right hand that got around. He sure did. Came around that guard of Lenny Z right there. Now the young man is attacking, but you see he's not smothering himself. He's trying to keep the fight outside so he can have his opportunity, and Lenny Z got to step in. 
and take more level. Good job by Salcedo, keeping it at, at range. Using that height. Bent straight back, and Salcedo followed him with punches. Huge amount of swelling now under the left eye of Lenny Z. Blood streaming down the right side of his face, and a big mouse under the left eye. Double jab, right hand, Lenny Z looked to counter. If I was Lenny Z, I would take two steps in and come behind with the overhand right or left hook. It's open. Think about that. Sit back, enjoy your Saturday night. It's getting good. There's a body shot with the left hand and a right hand from Lenny Z. Difficulty with his vision. He's used to fighting like this. Look at his face, painted with blood and yet fighting back. Salcedo's learning two things, this round in particular. One, you use your jab, you control the distance. Two, the greatest virtue you can have in this game is the ability to remain undiscouraged. End of six coming up. Lenny Z trying to use that jab now to come in. And now he's going down to the body, trying to take some of the tires out of the, take some of the air out of the tires of Salcedo. Abel Sanchez wants Salcedo to use the jab, blind Lenny Z, and move to his right because he cannot see that overhand right coming from the left eye. There's no doubt about it with the left eye, Bernardo. That is huge amount of swelling around the left eye. The blood is coming from the right eye, but the left eye is completely closed. Let your hands go because I'm going to give you one more round. You can't trust Lenny Z to protect himself. This falls to his corner, Ernie Zavala and Pepe Riley. This reminds me of a fight. Eric Morales, Pablo Cesar. This reminds Turner. me of a horror movie. Here. Check it it's out. Like a splatter movie. Look at this. Come on. And this may or may not be fight of the year. But unless Alex Salcedo gets terribly overconfident, this is an extraordinary coming of age for him. You look at the face of Lenny Z. There's a right hand. Salcedo, see what he's got here. As he's got him pinned in that corner. And Lenny Z, of course he does. Fights out of position. Blood splatter on our camera. Yeah, that shot right eye there, closed. Right on the Other eye. eye cut. You see him step back, got his distance because that shot hurt. Hit him right on the button. Another right hand comes in. If Lenny Z was a character in a Hollywood boxing movie, they would reject that face right now. Say it's unrealistic, but yet it's happening right in front of us live on national TV, and he's fighting harder and harder. Another right hand from Saucedo. That's it. This is That's it. it. They are no shutting this thing down no up on the apron. The ref doesn't see it yet as he takes no more punishment. The corner stops it. Valiant effort, but OKC Thunderdome is rocking. The end comes at 2 minutes, 31 seconds, round number 7. The winner by TKO victory, still undefeated. He is the fighting pride of OKC, the undefeated Alex L. Cholo Salcedo.